Today we're watching Star Wars Episode 7, that is The Force Awakens. Tell me what you think about this episode. Uh, Star Wars Episode 7, I give it a 7 out of 10, which is actually a high score for me, considering there was tons of problems in the entire movie. There was logic problems, there was combat problems, there was character problems, coincidence problems. But I was kind of enjoying just watching Star Wars with the acting and the music and the sound, and I was enjoying the moment. So I bump it up to a 7 out of 10. So generally I felt pretty pretty good watching it. But I think that was mostly based around production values. When I started thinking about things, uh, oh yeah, it just felt, gosh, it's a copycat of episode 4, which is a real problem. They just sort of went bigger and did the exact same thing. It felt kind of, what's the word, contrived? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense in the universe. Um, it does set up the next movies well. It's not a complete disaster. So, like, if the follow-on movies were excellent, I think this would be seen as, like, a lazy introduction to the Disney trilogy. Um, but it still feels like Star Wars. Everyone's happy. Um, there's a lot of unfulfilled plot points. So I'd say, overall, I felt pretty good watching it. Felt like a Star Wars movie. It's overly safe. So 7 out of 10 for me. What do you think? I give it a 5. Five out of ten. Oof. Yeah, and, and I okay. So some some people are Star Trek, Star Wars. I like them both. I guess I like Star Trek more, but I, I really I really do like them both. However, there's there's lots of problems with this one. Um. So but but first first let's do for pros. Star Wars. Star Wars is always a good time. I mean, I watch everything with Star Wars because it's it's wizards in space, like it's super fantasy. It's the nerd fantasy just left and right. Um. A good pro about this is that Ray and Finn, they're set up to be this duo. Like I really, I really wanted them to both be force sensitive. And maybe not maybe they're not individually better than Kylo Ren, but together their their powers combined, they they can attack from both. I, I thought it was gonna be such a good setup for for Finn to be a Jedi as well. Um another good pro about this is the drama. The drama is very good. And so what, what do I mean by this? Um there are large stakes. So it really feels like like this is a big empire, and the rebel, the rebels are fighting for something substantial, and and then Kylo Ren has to kill Han Solo. Um, it's just fantastic, fantastic, like twist and like stab in your side, and you want Han Solo to live, but you also see from Kylo Ren's perspective, he he needs to do this in order to ascend in his Sithness. Um, fantastic drama. Um, the cons is one con is fin, is Captain Phasma. Like, what is what was why? Like, why why was this character special? Like, they clearly had this silver armor, super tall woman, but then also nothing came of it. So so it's like it was like here's a teaser, something's gonna happen, nothing happens. Um, the second problem that I saw was was Ray's knowledge of the Force. It's it's we've seen so much in Star Wars in the first six episodes that the Force is not something you get for free. Like, you really have to earn it and it's not just something like i can do a bunch of push-ups and now i'm jacked and, and have the force breath. like no, no no it's like a it's like a mental psychological spiritual you really have to like understand yourself and the universe and the world and how the, the living force and and she somehow just gets it um good natural talent but also it feels like it cheapens the value of the force it's just people can just, just be good at it somehow and then also who and what is snook um why is he gigantic? <laughs> like, what is, what, is, what is going on there? Um, yeah, so, so cons is that, is that some things are just thrown at you and just fizzle out. Don't know why. But uh, so let's watch it and let's discuss it. There are some cool stuff and some weird stuff. Let's just talk about it all.